I have been a bit obsessed with paper clips, admittedly obsessed, and I was looking for trying to create something that was easy, super simple, easy that I could put together in, in a quick minute. And I think I found it. So let's start by creating a template. I am utilizing cardstock and I am cutting it at two and a quarter inches in width, or I'm sorry, two and a quarter inches in height and one and a quarter, I believe it's one and a quarter, one and a half inches in width width, marking it at three quarter inches down from the top. This is where I'm going to insert the paper clip and one eighth inch from each side just to angle up to the three quarter inch mark so it's not just a plain old rectangle. I want it to have, you know, a little bit of character for something quick and easy. So now I have all my marks made, and this is where I will insert the paper clip, right here where I'm marking, and I'll just cut that with an X-Acto. So two and a quarter inches height, one and a half inch in width, width, three quarter inch mark, and then angle down from the three quarter inch mark to the one eighth inch mark. Now you have a piece of cardstock that has a little bit of a figure and a little bit of shape to it. Rounding off the edges with my crocodile at the one quarter inch setting. Now I'll pull over my upside down soap container and put that uh, X-Acto knife or cut that uh, slit with my X-Acto knife where I can stick that paper clip. And I think that completes my template or, you know, kind of gives me some direction to get started and decorate it. Let me first tell you who I am. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I like to create journals. I like to create journals that I can write in. I am also a junk journaler. I play a little bit with encaustic wax. And there's a lot of other things going on at my channel from ATC cards to ephemera. If you like that type of content, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You'll know when I upload new stuff. So let's get started decorating this template that we've created. So I want to start with a piece of 6 inch by 6 inch cardstock to kind of keep it simple. This is the first time... I've created these, so let's not overcomplicate things. I'm utilizing uh, lime green um, and a turquoise are the two colors I'm going to use. I'm using those two colors because over in PM Artist Studio Facebook group, makers of mixed media, they are having a challenge during the month of July to use those two colors, or those are the two colors that they're experimenting with this month. And I thought I would, you know, come out of the gate with uh, something in that lime green, and the chartreuse green is the color that they are recommending, and turquoise, or aqua blue. So I am utilizing lime green and turquoise. I laid my first stencil down and this is the pickup from that circular type stencil. So now let's do the back side of this six inch by six inch sheet. And I have a script stencil that I'm going to lay down this time. And I am just brayering over the stencil and it leaves it kind of uses the the stencil, but it also masks off portions of it. So without pulling the uh, paint out with paper and going through a, a tremendous amount of fuss, I'm just brayering over the top of it. I suppose that would be utilizing the stencil as a mask rather than, than a stencil, but I'm not sure of the nomenclature. If you, I, I just do what I do. Now let's lay down the turquoise. 
and I am using this botanical stencil. If I didn't say it before, I will link both my Facebook group over at Two Old Crows Mixed Media and PM Artist Studio Facebook group, Makers of Mixed Media. Both groups seem to have a lot of the same members. Um, that may be because Mariah and I have, have kind of been involved with each other since the very beginning of my channel. I think they had been working on theirs for about a year prior to me starting mine and Mariah and I took a class on how to promote our channels and we were on that same class together and we began a discussion during that class time and we've just been intertwined to some extent um, since. I've been participating in their monthly hops, video hops, been watching their content um, to a certain extent, unfortunately, my time is very, very limited, and they do very long live streams, and I don't get an opportunity to commit that much time to anything. Um, I'm still working, so I'm kind of limited, but I do watch their Facebook group, and that lets me kind of know what's going on, and it's a great group of people there. They put out tremendous content. They also develop a line of stencils that you can pick up on their website. So, you know, with that said, because I'm utilizing the two colors that they are promoting this month, I wanted to make sure that, that I gave them um, the proper kudos within this, within this video. So now we are printed on both sides. We're going to go ahead and cut those stencils to the height that we want, which is that two and one quarter inch height, and to the width that we're looking for, which is that one and a half inch. So we're starting with just rectangles, rounding off the top with the quarter inch setting on the crocodile. And I want to know where that three-quarter inch mark is. And I was going to mark it with a pencil, and then I decided it would be too difficult to erase that. I don't want it to show, so I pulled out my scoreboard, and I'm just going to lightly score at that three-quarter inch mark. And I will do that on all three. We're just creating three, so rather than editing out two of them, I'm just going to ask you to... To bear with me and let's do all three together. Now I want to angle up to that three quarter inch mark. I'm going to eyeball this, go in about an eighth of an inch and angle up to the three quarter inch fold line on both sides. Now the round off with the crocodile and there is number one. Let's use it as a template and do number two and three. And I, that works out pretty well. There we go with number three. And now the only thing really left to do is to put that score mark at that three-quarter inch mark. So I'll do that with my X-Acto. Pull out my paper clip. And there you have a completed paper clip, with the exception of inking around the outside edges to cover up that white. So there's number two. And let's put that score or that cut in number three. And there we go. So this could not be any simpler, and yet I think it looks pretty good when we stick it down inside a book. Let's mark up or ink up those edges first, and I'm using this citrus to cover that white. And now they're all completed. 
Let me get my scraps and move them down into my scrap bin down underneath my table. And you have printed front and back these three clips. I'm going to pull out this composition journal that I have handy and just show you how they look when you tuck them down inside a book or a journal. And there you have it. And if you want to see how to make this journal, I would recommend that you pop over to the composition book playlist. That is on my channel. There we go. That's a mason jar lid on the front of this composition journal. And like I said before, if you want to see how that's done, just uh, pop on over to the playlist. And I'll put the playlist right here. So thank you. And I'll leave you with just a few photos of the finished clips. say bye for now but I am putting the playlist for both the paper clips that I've been creating and the playlist for the altered composition journals here in this end screen so see you in the next video